Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. We're getting closer. I think we're getting closer to when uh, really some big bombs being dropped on Ukraine, unfortunately, and they're pushing it. And uh, who's they? Well, the ones who de-escalate the conflict. I made a video a minute ago regarding uh, kind of the same subject where you have a major general of Ukrainian armed forces uh, stating, assuring us that uh, Ukraine will attack and will destroy the Crimean bridge and will take militarily back Crimea from the Russians. So they will attack Crimea and they will destroy the bridge. Medvedev, the former uh, president and prime minister of Russia, said that's going to be it. We're going to you up. All right. That's what the, the thing is. Uh, and then the little steps, all the weasels talking and getting us ready for this big announcement, which was from the major general stating that we're going to hit the Ker Kersh uh, bridge. Okay. So that's an, right here. Now we find out the United States gives its green light for the uh, Kersh bridge and Ukraine uh, to be Crimea to be attack. So I have this um, article from the voice, the new voice of Ukraine from August 10th, 2022. This is the title. It's very important. U.S. reasserts support for Ukraine's effort to defend its sovereignty, including Crimea. As far as I remember, Crimea voted, Crimean people, the will of the people voted to be with Russia. So what sovereignty, what Ukrainian sovereignty are you talking about? But as I said, Ukrainians uh, want to get the wife who divorced them back. They want to, uh, Ukrainians want to get the wife forcefully from another man, the wife who divorced him and went to another man. Now he would want to destroy that, that man and get her for uh, obvious reasons. <laughs> All right, and I'm quoting, we support Ukraine's efforts, as you know, to protect its sovereignty and territorial integrity. And quote, the White House spokeswoman said when asked if Washington considers Crimea a legitimate target for Ukraine to strike with U.S. provided weapons. All right, fair game. Personally, I told, I expressed my, uh, my view on that. And I think it's fair game. You attacked, you invaded my country, right? However you want to take it. They consider it their country. You cross the border and you destroy targets on my territory, in my country, then I should be able to do the same thing, you know, uh, reciprocity. Give it to you back. So they could probably hit Moscow. It's legitimate, isn't it? However, you want, unless this is a controlled war and it is a controlled war i make i'm going to make this case all the indicators suggest there is a controlled war where the americans tell the ukrainians what they can do how far they can go and i'm pretty sure the americans communicate that we don't know with the russians and they discuss over there not oh austin spoke with or Milly spoke with uh, shoigu in five months let me put my violin, give you a Paganini here. I don't think so. I think they're in constant contact. And they tell them, if you hit over there, we're going to do this. It's a blackmail and it's between those two guys. These are just here to be smacked around and they die and whatever. They don't really care if you take it that way. But these guys are closer to these guys than to the other ones. The other ones are from any angle, from any angle you take it. They are further than the Russians. Religiously, genetically, culturally, uh, geographically, di different. But you pick your friends, right? So let's let's see. Um, uh, this is what what's going on right now with uh, the United States saying yes, you can hit the Crimean bridge, Crimea to to take what's your sovereign sovereign Ukra uh, Crimea, which by the way voted. They don't want to be with you anymore. Like. Kosovo voted, they didn't want to be with Serbia anymore. And it was all A-OK. -okay. But this one, somehow, it's 
uh, you know, we don't like democracy when it works against our uh, interest. So it says that uh, earlier the so-called health ministry of the occupied peninsula announced, which is Crimea, that the number of victims as a result of the Yeah, this is the same, but it says this comes after the several huge explosions rocket, rocked a Russian occupied air base in Ukraine, Crimea. Russian stated its military occupation of Ukraine. So they give us a little bit of background. Uh, pick, pick and choose. They don't give us the, the whole thing. So um, they talk about here about the, the Crimea, which is irrelevant. Crimea and How do you call it? Air, air base in Crimea that was blown up or whatever happened over there. The Ukrainians say, oh, it was not us. But then you got people saying, yeah, it was us. Then the Russian says, no, you know, it's not the Ukrainians because it was impossible. We have those anti-missiles that would hit a, a little fly that tries to come on our territory. So it would be a failure from those the, from the Russian side and from the other ones would be a success. But after success, you have the consequences, which Russia said, we're going to squash you. So the, the, the Americans gave their blessing. That's it. So we reached this point. So we started from here. And remember, Crimea was out of the question. No, Crimea, we don't. Uh, OK. And little by little, you have little weasels, unimportant people like, I don't know, that former something, that ex something, bam, 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 after they got to generals saying, after you got to people uh, that are handling us, you know, being over there, up, up there, telling how to, how, telling us how to live, starting making, you know, blunt uh, statements. Yeah, that's a Ukrainian. Yeah, I think it's legitimate. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. So now we're right here. When they say, yeah, we'll support you. Yeah, go, go ahead. Not ahead. Go ahead. You know what I mean? So, this is what's going on. Will they hit it? Yes. I think they will hit the Kerch Bridge. I think they will um, uh, attack, uh, uh, bomb Crimea. Legitimate, like straight. Uh, there's not going to be anything like that because there's not going to be any hiding because they got a blessing. So that means if they do something and the uh, Russians come and mm -mm -mm, they will say, hey, look what's happening now. Help us. You said all the way You're with us. You endorse that. That's what's going to happen. But I think the Russians... I think they will go all the way. I don't think, I think the war will end in about an hour after that. I think that's, that's where we ha we're heading right now. That's my, that's my uh, prediction. If these guys are hitting Crimea like real or destroy the Kirsch Bridge, I think the war will end in an hour. It's going to be some, I don't know, you know what I'm saying. The guys are going to use the briefcase and t -t 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 -t, pop, 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 put the or there a Putin's eye over there and whatever his ass and uh, they will uh, detonate uh, one or two of those things and say now back off or we're gonna use everything and that's it the doomsday as what's his name Medvedev said or something like that along those lines yeah that's a very much a de-escalation of conflict and the United States is not part of it thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just.